Uh, for me, uh, failure, failure. Kasi feeling ko dati, ever since I was a kid, parang fi- feeling ko sa, t- sa talili ko, failure na ako nun. Tapos parang... Ay, matalo. Hindi yan, mali mali. Sorry. Sabi ko tama. Hindi yan, 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 Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Whoever Here. I hope that you are all doing well. I found another SB19 interview. So this is from two years ago and at the release of their first album. So they were kind of breaking free of that Korean image and lots going on. I'm really looking forward to where they were at in this particular moment. And those visuals. <laughs> uh, where do we not draw? Is that an interview? 18 na tumulong sa atin for time travel. Namin na-expect din na ganun lang kabilis. So, hindi na namin alam. Pwedeng maganda, pwedeng hindi. So, get in the zone, brick! How we are. That's been on scene! I love the styling. Alright, so guys, welcome to the studio. And I first question for me, music. Please, how are you coping in, in this pandemic? <laughs> Any, anyone can start. Ah, it's not going to be able to do it. It's not going to be So far, um, we're trying our best to to be active, um, shoot, um, we're still practicing at home, kahit po na medyo hiwa-hiwalay kami and um, tinatry pa rin namin if may chance na magsama-sama para makapag-practice. So if I'm right, actually, uh, the album had not released yet. This is not from the what era, this is just prior to that. Practice para po continuous pa rin yung mga, um, uh, continuous yung pagpa-perform namin, continuous na may entertain namin yung mga Filipino, especially yung 18. So ngayon po, uh, mas gusto po namin maging productive po. Kahit, kahit po ganito po yung situation natin ngayon, uh, gusto pa rin po namin na, yun nga, sinasabi ni Justin, maging active para sa fans namin and para rin sa amin. Yes, kung hindi man, uh, kung hindi man kami gumagawa para sa fans namin ng mga bagong contents, uh, nag iisip kami ng mga bagay para ma-improve yung skills namin, yeah. katulad po ng uh, pagbe-bake this tell, kumbaga yeah. ibang part naman bukod sa performing, uh, what else? Ako po, uh, nag-aaral po ang gumawa ng music, making beats. Uh, yung iba naman po, mahil- nahihilig po mag-workout, katulad po ni Josh, kaya nga po ganyan lang ito. Productivity. <laughs> Opo. Basta po, ano, para mabuno po namin yung oras namin, or magamit namin yung oras habang mm-hmm. nandito tayo sa pandemya. I'm sorry, are we interrupting something in the back right there? Why are they touching each other? Maraming adjustments na nangyari, pero uh, like, for the first months of few months of having this pandemic medyo nahirapan din kami mag-adjust takot at takot din kami and pero parang ngayon kasi para syempre yun nga eh parang kailangan mo lang embrace yung change ganun talaga hindi mo maraming bagay na parang hindi mo inaexpect na mangyayari so we have to adjust we have to move on and ayun hindi naman titigil ang mundo sa isang idlog lang Thank you. Um, what are, what's your message to your fans who are struggling with the pandemic? Uh, <laughs> para, yeah, still. Go, go, still. Uh, para sa one, two, three, go. Uh, for 18, uh, alam oh. namin. They really rely on each other, don't they? Because if Ken is ever um, in a daze in his own world, then Stell's right there to do something wild to get that capital letter laugh out of him. And perhaps when Stell was going through this moment of 
like insecurity and like just not being that confident. I've just loved to see Ken swoop in there. It's so sweet. Na same lang naman tayo ng pinagdadaanan. Hindi lang ngayon, uh, noon pa man din, uh, marami na tayong pinagdadaanan, lalo na nung nag-start yung pandemia. And uh, sana, katulad din ng iba na sinusubukan nilang harapin and sinusubukan nilang um, parang labanan kung ano yung nararamdaman nila hindi lang sa mga nakikita nila sa labas kundi pati yung sariling dala nilang bigat sana katulad ng iba kaya rin din natin kasi alam naman natin na in time malalampasin din natin to and kahit anong problema man yung dumaan alam namin nakakayanin niyo tsaka huwag kayong magalala kasi nga di ba sabi namin hangga't nandiyan kayo may SB19 so kahit papaano sana nabibigyan namin kayo ng kasiyahan kaya ayun nandito lang kami para sa inyo ayan tama Uh, patuloy kaming gagawa ng mga kanta para sa inyo, uh, katulad nga po ng sinabi ni Stella, kung walang 18, walang SP19, and uh, katulad din po ng sinabi sa mga kanta namin, katulad po ng Ikako, na basta may pag-ibig sa puso natin tayo magwawagi. Uh, ibig sabihin nun, kumbaga huwag kang matakot lumaban kasi may mga tao sa paligid mo na nagmamahal sa'yo and tutulong sa'yo in times of need, katulad nga po ng kinakarap nating pandemya. So, how do you keep yourself inspired, or where do you draw your inspirations from? From here. Where do you draw? I mean, sometimes. Yes, that ends in 18. Na tumulong sa atin for reaching this situation. I mean. I don't know what it is about Josh. He's just, he's unshakable. Like, you can just do anything, and suddenly he's just reverted back to being really cool. He has these little, like, perks of energy, and he's quite similar to Ken in that way. Well, that's weird. Mayon dahil sa 18, so isa po sila sa talagang nagbibigay inspiration na para gawin namin mag-continue kami sa mga projects, sa mga araw-araw na ginagawa namin, to be productive. And syempre, yung family din namin, of course, um, Ayun, isa sa mga inspiration namin. And siguro din yung isa't isa, yung mga pangarap namin na may mga goal kami na pinangarap, um, pinangako sa isa't isa. So, ayun po, kailangan namin talagang galingan and mag-continue. And you have sa akin, inspiration ko, aside from my family, my friends, uh, siguro kumukha ko Anime? ng inspiration sa sarili ko. <laughs> Sorry. Kasi ginagawa ko to para sa akin. And dahil pangarap ko, this is my That's dream. That's so, so interesting. I'm really trying my best para maabot kung ano yung mga kung ano yung nasa ay yung mga goals ko eh gusto ko ma-achieve sa buhay. Kasi nga kasi ba syempre 18 yung dahilan kung bakit nandito tayo ngayon. And syempre as time passes by gusto natin makapagpakita tayo ng better performers. Uh, kumbaga, gusto natin mahigitan or maibalik lahat ng ginagawa niyo ng uh, effort para sa grupo natin. So, kami, talaga nagsistrive kami para maging better performers. Like, uh, nag-iisip kami ng mga bagong bagay para ma-entertain yung mga 18s. And uh, with that, nagpapasalamat kami kasi sila yung nag nagiging dahilan kung bakit kami nagpapatuloy at bakit kami naging uh, You guys mentioned about um, your achievements. Uh, what do you think is your biggest achievement as a group so far? Ang mabuhay ngayong araw. Ano, ang tingin nyo, biggest achievement natin? Ang dami. Siguro, biggest achievement, kasi maraming, maraming masasabing awards and all, pero yung biggest achievement, parang feeling namin na nakakay, pag inspired din kami sa ibang tao, kasi yun naman talaga yung main goal namin as a group, yung makatulong sa ibang tao through our craft. So parang, yun, ginagawa namin yung gusto namin, tapos na-appreciate na ibang tao through through that parang na-appreciate din nila and parang ang dami namin na inspire na hindi rin kami aware na sobrang dami minsan syempre hindi mo na mapapansin di ba marami din yung silent fans na parang alam mo yun uh, nakikinig lang sila pero hindi namin sila kilala like talagang uh, unlike yung mga ibang active fans so yun yun yung pinaka ano I mean it's really important to do these interviews, isn't it? Because no amount of training is going to prepare you for being in front of that camera and suddenly being asked a question and then have to answer it really eloquently. And they definitely are a lot more comfortable in front of the camera and just uh, being on the receiving end of anything, really. You could be asked anything and have to be able to answer it and control it. Um, 
especially when you're asked such big questions like what difference have you made where do you see yourself like uh, what are you contributing like these sorts of things it's really really hard on the spot especially when you're up and coming to answer those sorts of questions um i can see why pablo and josh are sat at the front to kind of lead this uh, but really really nice to hear from ken uh, from hi him perking up in this interview i feel like they've purposely split it so that each member gets an opportunity to talk they don't do that so much now like they're more fluid in who answers as what, um, but I quite like that. Such a good thing. through this platform, talaga, parang nakabuo kami ng one big family. Eh. Kaya rin tawag namin sa fans namin is 18. Uh, kung babasahin mo siya in Filipino, atin. So everything that we have been through, everything that we're achieving right now, uh, ano yan, talagang pinagsasaluhan at uh, talagang sinishare namin sa bawat isa. Uh, kung nahihirapan man sila sa studies, ganyan, nakikita, makikita mo talaga sa Twitter, Facebook, nagtutulungan sila, nag, nagbibigay ng mga advices para matulungan yung isa't isa. If ever man na kailangan ng funds, nakikita ko na nagbibigay sila ng donation to each other. At yun yung masasabi ko na biggest achievement na nagawa ng grupo namin kasi hindi lang para sa sarili namin yung nagagawa namin, kundi para sa ibang tao. Ayun. Umpisa pa lang naman po, yun po yung pinaka-goal ng group namin is to inspire other people to our craft po, to our music, ganun. And sa ngayon po, nakikita po namin na marami pong mga katulad din namin hmm. na um, may mga pangarap na hanggang ngayon sinusubukan pa rin po nilang abutin yung pangarap nila na yun. Kahit kasabay po ng pandemya, alam po natin, mahirap po yun. Pero gumagawa po sila ng iba't ibang klase ng paraan para maabot po yung pangarap nila. Like, ayun po, may mga... 18 po na sobrang mga magagaling mag-drawing, mga artists, and meron din pong mga 18 na gumagawa po ng song about SB19. Mga ganun po, nakaka-proud and nakakataba po na po sumakita ng ganun. Kasi hindi lang po kami nakaka-inspire sa kanila, parang sila rin po nagiging inspiration ng iba, yung mga taka pong sumubo. Tama. Nice. That's very nice. Josh, can you fix your hair? Yes or no? Eh, Josh, can you put okay. your hair? No. Okay. Next question. <laughs> Do you guys have um, fears? Like, what's your biggest fear? Oh my God. Spiders. Um, let's start with Ken. Hot socks. Hmm. No fear. No fear. No yung pinagkukuhanan namin ng lakas, which is yung fans namin. Kasi siguro lahat naman siguro na. Uh, artist pa siguro na pag wala na silang masuporta sa masuporta sa kanila. Parang ay hindi naman hindi naman sa lahat pero mostly siguro na mga artist pag ganoon na wala sumang suporta siguro mga manghihina din sila. So kung wala yung fans namin, feel ko manghihina rin kami. They really very carefully think about every move that they're going to make and sometimes they have to do that at great speeds, especially with the way that they're rising right now. Um, but at no point do I ever feel like that they're losing control or that they're doing something that doesn't represent them or that doesn't represent the, that overall objective that they had when they set out to become SB19. That's the biggest fear I said, because of course, there's a lot. I don't know what the biggest fear is. I remember na ako isang issue share na lang na fear. Um, yes. Nabasa ko lang siya din sa Facebook. Eh. Parang ano, nakarelate ako. Parang sinasabi doon na um, parang natatakot kang makita ng tao yung ayaw mong makita sa iyo. That you think is your weakness. So, parang every time na kaya parang alam mo yung conscious sa sarili. Isa rin yung siguro sa takot ko na takot mo ipakita yung ayaw, sarili mo. Hindi, hindi. Parang parang meron ako nakikita na ayaw ko. Tapos may kita ng tao yun sa akin. Ayun yung isa sa bagay na ayaw ko. Parang, parang once ayaw na makita nila yung bagay na ayaw ko mismo. Hypocrite. So, parang ayaw ko. Okay. Nice, nice. Uh, for me, uh, failure, fail. Kasi feeling ko dati, ever since I was a kid, parang feeling ko sa, sa talili ko, failure na ako noon. Tapos parang... Ayaw mo tala. Malay mo tala. Sabi ko tala. I agree. Parang nung bata ako, hindi ko in-expect na mapupunta ako dito after all these years na parang ayun kasi kala ko dati patapon na yung buhay ko, gano'n, parang hindi ko, yun, gano'n, parang, so, takot na takot ako mag-fail kasi parang ang dami ko na yung pinagdaanan bago akong makarating dito, so ayoko nang, ayoko masayang lahat ng pinikirapan ko, so, I'm kind of permitted. 
There is no way that man's focus and he is an anchor yet also a steer for this group. There is no failure when Josh is on your side. Hey, when Susie got a failure on you. Impossible. Yeah, you can get a Ah, uh, sige. I agree. <laughs> uh, oh, actually, before before I even became a member of SP19, I was really proud to perform. I was proud to be big crowds. It's crazy. But uh, I love na love ko na talaga yung music. Para sa akin, ayun yan, nasasabi ko rin to before na para sa akin, uh, music is medicine. Parang lahat ng frustrations ko, masaya ako, malungkot, dun ko nilalagay, gumagawa ko ng kanta. And through that, na-release ko yung stress ko. And ever since na gumawa ako ng kanta, ever since nakasulat ako ng kanta, lalo na lalo yung up, which is yung story ng SP19, nakita ko na maraming na-inspire, maraming na-motivate. Uh, maraming uh, nabuhayan ng loob, maraming nagpatuloy sa pangarap nila. Uh, masabi ko lang dati, sumusulat ako ng kanta para sa sarili ko, para matulungan yung sarili ko. Ngayon, sumusulat na ako ng kanta para matulungan din yung ibang tao, hindi lang yung sarili ko. So, feeling ko yung, yung fear ko na yun na overcome ko na dahil sa nakita kong effect, which is yung butterfly effect. Kung baga, patuloy, patuloy, patuloy. Kung baga yung pangarap ko, uh, pinush ko. I love uh, you, Justin. Na ng, Never change. Uh, yung nagpatuloy na yung pangarap na nagsishare na, parang napapasa na sa iba. So, I think, naging successful ako sa pag-conquer ng fear ko. So yung fear na yon nag-disappear na. Oh. Tama. Nag-disappear. Tsaka no fear. <laughs> the joke. <laughs> I really hate the way that they're sat. It's just so like, I don't know, they're not including each other. They've got backs to each other. It's just really weird angles. And it always feels like somebody is missing out. They they look awkward. I hate it. Are you parang mas nakakatakot po pala yung sarili ko mismo. Parang ayun po. I'm very kasi, happy. Kasi parang, parang habang nandito po ako sa parang career po na tinataha ko, parang ang daming dami ko pong mga naiisip, mga nare-realize, tas hanggang sa nagugulat na lang po ako, kalaban ko na po pala yung sarili ko. Parang ang dami ko na pong realizations and parang kahit yung sarili ko po, kine-question ko na, parang ayun po. Parang, Parang, ayun po, ang hirap lang isipin na parang tinatry kong mag-grow pero yung sarili ko mismo yung naghihila sa akin pababa. Mm. So parang habang nag-overthink ako ng sobra, parang mas dun po ko, na, na, parang dun po nawawala yung glow sa akin. Parang, mm. parang light stick na parang tinatry kong umilaw pero parang bin, siya yung nag, sarili ko rin nag-break sa akin. Parang ganun. Yun po yung kinaka. Oh. Metaphor po yun. Metaphor. I know. I, mean, I, I, I agree to that. Kasi mm. po, Pag naging artist ka, talagang magiging vulnerable ka sa maraming tao. Magiging vulnerable ka sa criticisms, ganyan. Maraming masasabi yung mga... Give me a list of all of these people and I'll take care of them on your behalf because I'm just not gonna stand for it. Perhaps they let it happen before because they were up and coming. But now, if I've found anybody that was bad-mouthing them, I will take care of them myself with my own hands. Please. Mga tao sa iyo na pwede ikabagsak mo, pwede ikapanghina ng loob mo, This pwede mo rin family. parang gamitin para mag-motivate ka. Uh, merong times din talaga na nafe-feel ko yung ganun na parang katulad kay sister na parang, ayun, parang hindi mo naman kailangang isipin pero iniisip mo kaya mm -hmm. nangihina yung, yung loob mo na nangihinaan ka ng loob. Ayun po. Pero meron din naman times na talagang kakalabanin mo yun parang magagawa mo, magagawa mo ma-overcome dahil nga sa mga tao sa paligid mo mm -hmm. na yung mawalas. Ayun lang po. Sana sana hindi sila panginaan ng loob na tahakin yung yung ganito. Yeah. If ever man na gusto nila maging artist or mag-release ng mga kanta, sana hindi sila panginaan loob. Ipagpatuloy yeah, nila. Hmm. Right. Uh, it's interesting kasi like I noticed most of your answers are not like trivial fears like mm -hmm. like what you call this but like what stuff yeah. said about how you have know, basic fear oh, like insects yeah. or scared of the dark. dark. But your answers are very like introspective. It's very like almost like questioning yourself. Yes. <laughs> very uh, introspective. Yeah, metaphorical. Metaphorical. <laughs> um, can you? Metaphorical. Was there ever a time um, where you guys almost gave up and just wanted to stop? Yeah. yeah. There were many, many, many times. Uh, even before we even became uh, SP19 as a group. Um, 
Actually, si Stel na iwan siya. Si Stel and Justin, actually. Kung baga, lahat kami nag-quit na, pumalik lang kami dahil nga parang gusto namin ipagpatuloy yung pangarap namin. And, after that, um, siguro, situation, nabuo ulit yung loob namin. Pero, there came a time, after three years na nagtitraining kami, parang, nakita namin na, oy, wala nang nangyayari sa atin. Mm. After debut? Like, uh, after nag-debut debut. po kasi kami ng Tila Luha. And, well, so uh, unfortunately, it wasn't uh, that successful. Uh, hindi siya parang tinangkilik ng maraming maraming tao. Pero nagpatuloy kami a few years after, parang na-realize namin, parang wala nang nangyayari sa career namin. And wala kami kinikita, wala kami natatanggap or anything. Hindi kami nakakapagbigay sa family namin, hindi kami nakakapagpundar. Siyempre, uh, kailangan, uh, as time passes by, kailangan nakakaipon ka rin kasi nga hindi naman pwedeng wala lang. Parang ginagawa mo lang as a hobby. And then, parang before yung go-up, sabi namin, itigil na natin, last natin to, last shot. Ibigay na natin kasi kung dito, mag- kung wala mangyari, it's stop. stop na kami. And fortunately, ayun po, uh, yung go-up po talaga yung redemption song namin. Uh, siya po yung nagdala sa amin kung nasaan kami ngayon. Um, nakilala kami dahil sa kantang yun. And, Uh, that song will forever be uh, special. Favorite song ng grupo namin, Go Up. Um, Alright, so that was years before, even pre debut days. Let's talk about the future. How do you see SB19 five years from now? Tell us. Too big. Too big. possibilities after. Yeah. Um, a year ago, hindi nga namin na-expect na magpupunta kami. Ma- ma- maka- ano yun? Makakaroon, magkakaroon kami ng awards na tulad sa Mix, sa, Mi- sa Wish, tapos yung mapabilang sa Social Billboard. Safety o oh, Billboard. Parang ano yun eh, parang dream come true na, ng mga artists na yun. Eh. Parang hindi namin na-expect din na ganun lang kabilis. So, hindi na namin alam, pwedeng maganda, pwedeng hindi. So, pero yun nga, syempre may goal kami. Yun, uh, uh, may goal tayo. Uh, yeah. Siguro yung goal po talaga namin is to establish P-pop, not just here in the Philippines, but all over I think collectively they're feeling quite down. Obviously, they are still in the midst of the pandemic. Um, you know, are we free? Are we not free? Is lockdown still going on? And they... It, by the sounds of it, hadn't spent that much time, like day after day with each other at this point. They'd been away. Um, and so, of course, they are still a group. They're still a unit. But there are some difference of opinions and ideas. Uh, usually, they're very coherent when they're presenting uh, themselves or when they're answering a question. But right now, I feel like the morale is quite low. They're all feeling very low. Energy seems a little bit low as well. Um, and they're not willing at the moment to talk big. I've seen them talk big. But Not right now. It's really, really interesting. For the world, kung baga, parang makikilala talaga mm. yung Filipino talent na ito, P-pop. Tapos parang dinadayo na tayo ng iba't ibang uh, mga lahi dahil nga meron tayong uh, entertainment na katulad nito. Katulad na uh, may pagmamalaki natin na kayang-kaya natin makipagsabayan uh, sa iba't ibang bansa. And ayun, ayun po eh, yung nakikita ko eh, parang... Uh, siyempre, pag nandito ka naman sa career na to, hindi ka naman mag-isip na, hindi, walang mangyayari sa atin. Siyempre, you, you always think like positively. And, uh, yun, naisip ko, naisip ko, and kahit siguro, kahit siguro hindi mabilis yung proseso, mabagal man, uh, hindi kami susuko hanggang sa makamit namin yung goal na, yun, yun na, may establish yung keep up. Siyempre, world domination yung ano na. I mean, yes, yes. 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 Yes the future, who might know, diba? Baka magkaroon na talaga tayo, pwede mag-focus na rin yung mismong government, yung ano natin sa gantong, kung maging yung P-pop, mas ma-promote pa. And hindi lang P-pop, pero OPM. Magkaroon tayo ng show, no? Looking for the next. Who? Hi, the fan. Ganda yun. Please. Ganda. What's the best compliment you got from someone? Oh my God. Ako po ay ano, 
Sobrang nahihiya ako pag kinocompliment ako. Pero kaya may nagsasabi sa akin na, ano, ay, ang galing mo, iibahin ko yung ano, iibahin ko yung topic. Ay, hindi, ano, ang ganda mo, ang ganda, ang ganda. Kasi hindi ako sanay. Hindi ko rin alam ano, hindi reply sa ganun. Pag, pag siguro pag harap-harapan sinabi sa sa'yo, parang ang awkward, di ba? Parang ang awkward, pag ganun. Pero pag siguro, pag through SNS, parang okay lang naman. Pag SNS, makakapag-isip ka kung paano ka, kasi hindi nakikita yung reaction mo eh. Best compliment for me. Because, sure, I'm saying, I'm saying, para for me, ano yun? Ah, so, hindi naman pala ako weird or what. Parang talaga namang makabuluhan yung mga naiisip ko. Kasi minsan iniisip ko, baka weird lang ako gano'n. That's nothing wrong with you. Sexiest man, hindi? Eh? Please. <laughs> ako po, hindi ko alam kung uh, best compliment siya or burden or is another responsibility. Pero, uh, since yun din naman yung ano, gusto ko rin naman makatulong sa, sa mga ibang tao. Through my story, through our story. Siguro yung best comment is, your music saved me. Your music yeah. saved my life. Pag, kumbaga, kung iisipin mo, ang laking impact ng nagawa mo sa buhay nila, hindi lang para sa sarili mo. Uh, kung baga, ikaw yung naging dahilan kung bakit gusto nila lumaban sa buhay. And sobrang gandang feeling, sobrang nakakatuwa, sobrang fulfilled as an artist yung, yung pagiging artist namin uh, with that comment, with that ano. Talagang iba, iba yung feeling. So, <laughs> Come on, Stel. Hmm. Siguro po sa akin... Ang taas ng note. Hindi, hindi, hindi. <laughs> feeling ko... Feeling ko yung ano po, uh, parang yung mga friends ko... This be- is so tough to watch. Stell has most definitely at this point lost his glow. And living in the future, I'm so glad that he has got it back. And then some more. But this is so tough to watch. He has been slumped on that stool the entire time, not wanting to engage, barely even looking up. He doesn't look like he wants to be there. And if I were a part of the team, I'd want to just pull him out. I'd want to be like, just take, just take some time out, perhaps... Go spend some time with your family. I don't know what is going on, but this is not the right environment for him. It's so tough. Before, ah, uh, kasi kilala po nila ako sa sobrang lokolokong tao. Parang lokolokong na friend. Parang <laughs> parang laging parang ano? Marami. Hindi mo masaseryos ang tao. Parang sobrang lokoloko po. Para pero ngayon po pag nakita nila ako, parang sabi nila, "Uy, nagbago ka na." Parang In parang, nag, parang nagbago na yung Paano naman sa mga buhay? Parang pag-iisip na tayo pa paano mag-level up. Kasi ako po aminado, isip bata pa rin po ngayon. Pero yung mga friend ko, sinasabi ko nila na kahit pa paano, nag-iba na po yung level of thinking ko. So feeling ko yun po yung... Bago ka na still. Ako, dati pa talaga, I never thought na... Remember to na may mga tao talaga makapag-appreciate ng voice ko. Kasi hindi ako ganun ka... Di ako, tawag dito. Di ako confident. Ka confident sa voice ko kasi yung range ko mababa lang tapos malalim yung boses ko. And then nung, ano nga, nung inano ako ni Jo, sabi ko sa kanya. Sabi ko sa kanya dati na, ano, hindi naman maano yung boses ko, yung mababa lang yung boses ko, hindi, hindi mataas yung range ko. And habang tumatagal, ngayon, parang naging na-appreciate ko na yung boses ko dahil may mga tao na ka-appreciate na. Mm-hmm. Nice. And sake, there's a lot of people who are not going to be able Parang yeah, gano'n, kung oh. saan na, parang alam mo yun. Ibig sabihin, tinatrust nila ako sa bagay na yun. Ibig sabihin, alam nila na kaya ko. So parang, 
Parang compliment na rin. O kaya lang, o kaya lang walang choice. Pagdating sa, <laughs> pagdating sa pagko-choreograph, siya talaga yung ano namin, siya yung nilalapitan namin. Oh, no. na. Siya yung malakas doon, di ba? Ako. Ha? Eh, si, si Alo, di ba? Bye, ganun. Bye, ganun. Oo, tamo? Ika, hati ko na. O, oh, sige. Chan, I love you. He needed that moment. Did you see Stel's face perk up? I just, I hate to see Stel like this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Justin. Hi, I'm Ken. Hi, I'm Stel. Hi, I'm Sejun. And I'm Josh. And we are SB19. Please watch out for the premiere issue of Parsink Magazine. And please visit www.parsink.com. Be in sync with Parsink. This was really torturous to watch, to be honest. Yeah, they they just weren't quite feeling right. What I do really love about them is that they never shy away from talking about their real emotions. They don't try and put on this perfect picture of, oh yeah, things are going really well. You know, we're going up. There's lots that's happening with our lives. I mean, look at how fantastic we look. Look at all these compliments we're getting. I think that they've lived very, very real lives, had extreme experiences at such young ages and that when you come in front of the camera there's a whole load of responsibility then because now these are the sorts of artists and the sorts of people that you can say are real role models not the kind of like perfect uh, PR machines that have been put together these are real people that have, are kind of trying to find their way and there's something about that that's so earnest and so likable like for sure they were not on the same page in a lot of parts of this interview but I really enjoyed that it felt felt like you were chatting with a friend. It didn't feel like a formal interview. I genuinely hated the way that they were sat. I think perhaps Stell should have been sat in the middle. I think that him sat at the back in the corner, it just didn't work with how he was feeling. His mood was not quite right and he should have been in the centre perhaps. Um, and they should have been sat in a semicircle or something like that. I don't know. Um, but overall, like despite them being so young and despite this being around the go up era, they are not shy about being very upfront about what they see in the future. They want to promote P-pop. They want to help the economy of the Philippines. They want to promote OPM. Um, they want to be given an opportunity. And they bring all of this, like, they talk about the negativity that they've received because they want to bring light to it, that it's not okay. And it's funny because they got it was a similar sort of a response like oh negative um, experiences what are your fears and then talking about what other compliments very leveled answers there wasn't like any extreme things going on um, so their boys very much in control of their emotions they're not just because they've had a successful song, they're not going wild with it. Yes, they have these wild aspirations, but they're not going wild on this current peak, right? And I really, really like that. They're very, very leveled. I think, again, that must be something that is like instilled in your upbringing in the Philippines, that you stay very much grounded. I could have just said that, couldn't I? Instead of going round and round the bush and not quite finding the correct word, they've all the way being very grounded, whether they were stood firmly on the ground or whether they were high up in the sky like they are today. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. I semi-loved it. Interesting as always. Really good to, all throughout their five years, five very short years, it's good to stop and listen to where they think they're at and nothing really changes with that overall goal, with that overall objective. Thank you so much for watching this with me. I hope that you had fun. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye.